Hi, my name is Greg. I'm an atheist. I post here as GKLR on YouTube. And I want to make a video as sort of an appreciation to all the people that have subscribed to me uh, by giving a logical problem. It would be fun to do. And um, really and truly, I never expected to have anywhere this number of subscribers. I wish I could sort of put a cap on it now because I don't really want to become a, a big name of some sort. I just want to have some fun out here. <laughs> okay. I don't need all the, the other stuff that comes along with being uh, popular. In any case, um, I really appreciate the comments that I get. I read them all. I try to. I go back through the old videos and, and see what people are debating about and stuff like that. I know I owe people a couple of videos, and I'm going to do those uh, eventually, and uh, hopefully in this new string of getting some videos done, uh, that'll be what takes place. Okay, so I want to present the Barber's Paradox as uh, just for fun and just as an appreciation for for people to, to appreciate the way I've made some videos and I've presented maybe some new arguments and stuff like that. And it's just really been fun for me. It's, it's a lot of fun to do. So the Barber's Paradox. There is a barber, you know, there is a man who is a barber in a village who shaves only all those men who don't shave themselves. The question is, does he shave himself or not? And if he if he does shave, oh, well, let's put it on pause if, you, if you're so inclined or you're just going to fast forward the answer, then here's the answer. <laughs> um, if he if he does shave himself, then it can't be true that he only shaves all those men that don't shave themselves. If he doesn't shave himself, then it can't be true that he only shaves all those men that don't shave themselves. So either way, it can't be the case. Either way, it can't be true, it can't be false. Therefore, the barber can't exist. There is no such barber. So this uh, was, I believe, presented by Bertrand Russell. And it's a good one. It's called the Barber's Paradox. It actually results in a contradiction, uh, showing that the barber can't exist. And uh, just for fun, just for the appreciation of having people out here. And I, I've got a couple more like those, so I'll, I'll bring them up every once in a while. Uh, they're not really meant to be in defense of atheism or anything. It's just meant for people to give something to think about. And if you're going to write it down, remember to include that it's a man who's a barber. Remember to uh, that the second half of the phrase is critical when you say that he only shaves all those men who don't shave themselves. It has to be precisely that, otherwise you're going to run into trouble trying to defend it, and you can play with it and see. Uh, but in any case, uh, cheers.